so they should be ready to go. That's a good sign. Team members are retreating behind the barriers. We've already seen a few driverless cars yesterday uh, flirting with the barriers a bit too much. Go signal is given. And it sets off. Aggressive over the start line, making it well through the first corner, staying nicely between the lines. Very clean through the first half of the lap. Collecting a couple of cones in front of the grandstand. I think uh, that's the group of the cones now. We've had one uh, during the autocross lap yesterday that was getting hit by pretty much every team making a pass. I see one blue cone is uh, lodged under the right-hand side uh, of the car, being dragged along for eternity, I guess. But the car is still doing pretty well despite that little obstacle. And there it is, the cone has escaped. But it does now seem to be lying in the middle of the track. Jonas, do you think that might cause any issues with the uh, lighter system of the vehicle? It might, it might not. Uh, we've in the past seen cars either completely ignoring cones that are in the middle of the track. We've also seen some taking them as hints to completely veer off the track, which usually results in an off course and then immediately uh, an emergency button press uh, by the ARSR up here which remotely kills the car. We see Chalmers has followed the first example, completely ignoring the track on the road. And I don't see whether it's jammed under the car again. Did it just get knocked off to the side? No, there's a new cone that's stuck underneath. Ah. But still, the car doing very well. Three laps down, seven laps to go. Going at a relatively steady pace, I think, Jonas. Not really uh, slowing, uh, slowing down or speeding up lap to lap. No, I was uh, thinking about some uh, allegory with slow and steady wins the race, but this is actually a pretty good pace. It's very consistent. Actually, the, the time, uh, the, the lap time here, around about the 30-second mark, uh, is quite a bit faster than... Uh, the usual lap pace that we saw during the autocross yesterday. Yes, I think only Milan managed to get into the, down into the 30 seconds yesterday. Indeed. I also see that uh, the cone has traveled from underneath the car all the way uh, to behind the rear wheel and is now jammed between uh, the rear suspension and the radiator. Not sure if the car is going fast enough that that would cause any thermal issues down the road. I guess it's also... Oh, no. And the cone escapes from under the car in more or less the same place as the previous cone did as well. Not causing any issues for the Chalmers vehicle though, still making its way nicely around the track. Taking... Uh bit of a peek here at the autocross times from yesterday and indeed only Milano managed to set a 30 something time in their second run. We didn't actually see uh, a performance from Chalmers at the autocross yesterday. If I recall correctly they had some trouble getting started. They were definitely present with us in the queue uh, towards the end of the autocross event. So it's good to see that they're putting on such a steady, stable performance here. What are the lap times looking like for the Chalmers car, Jonas? Is it uh, as consistent lap over lap as you'd expect an autonomous vehicle to be? They are actually remarkably consistent. The last six laps have all been uh, a 30.9 to a 30.8. So definitely steady, but I wouldn't say slow by any means of the imagination. 
definitely not slow. And it's also interesting to see that uh, the first uh, two laps were slightly slower. There was definitely a trend to, to speed up from a 34.8 down now to 30.8. car seems definitely to have rearranged the track to, to its favor now and is just keeping on trucking. I think this is actually already the last lap. So now we're coming up to the point where we are anxiously going to await the car stopping after the finish line by itself. It has to stop within 30 meters of the finish line. Nicely does so within the track lines. Yeah! And oh, there is a blue light. Yeah! That's a valid run for the track drive. Chamas used their one opportunity to make this work. Big round of applause from the grandstands here. Congratulations to the team. Yes, applause absolutely deserved.